Welcome passengers to Train Real World. My name is Stephen and this is a news article because big news has happened. We already know that cross country is ending in October. That's when they officially said that they are ending. But we have got additional news onto that now, which gives us the actual dates of the final day of service. And unfortunately, it is not October. It is pretty much mid, almost mid-September. Now, the footage that you're seeing is uh, most of my cross-country HST footage. Some of this, some of this footage is from journeys that you have not seen yet. Journeys that are coming up on Train Real World. So, you're actually seeing a sneak peek of things to come because... As you know, the HST is leaving us at the uh, in September now, um, unfortunately, which means that we have to get on as many HSTs as we possibly can during that time. So I have actually been on the Cross Country HST over these past few months quite a few times, and you will be seeing upcoming videos on that on Train Real World. So subscribe, like this video, and hopefully you'll be able to see more of this in the future up until i think one of my videos is october anyway what we've all been waiting for what well, not what well, we don't want to be waiting for this but the final day of service official mainline service is monday the 18th of september 2023 there is only going to be two services that day it's going to be six minutes past six from edinburgh to plymouth via westbury and then 27 minutes past five from Plymouth to Leeds. So very unfortunate that it's only one train that's going up and down. There might be a swap at Plymouth. But before that time, as you know, there's two services going down Leeds to Plymouth and Edinburgh to Plymouth. And then two services going back where they swap that train. The one that goes from Leeds to Plymouth then does Plymouth to Glasgow Central. And the Edinburgh to Plymouth does Plymouth to Leeds. Unless there's other things that kind of get in the way. And sometimes they are voyagers. But 18th of September is the final day of service. And there is somebody that's on Twitter. I don't know if that post is still there. But they actually posted all the services in August and September. Because some of these are actually going via certain places that it doesn't usually go through so certain diversions let's say so that's encouraging to see um, especially as we're still getting the Edinburgh to Plymouth Plymouth to Leeds and Leeds to Plymouth Plymouth to Glasgow Central it would have been nice for it to have gone a little bit longer but unfortunately not now what we're going to do is I'm going to pause here with my narration so we can hear some gorgeous HSD goodness and then come back to the rest of this uh, news article.
Now, when I checked last night, um, you were able to get a ticket to go down south from Leeds. Um, sorry, not from Leeds, from Edinburgh to Plymouth. But the uh, 18th of September service, go back up. I couldn't get any tickets. Not that I can, because I think I've got a lot of stuff going on in that weekend and week, so I might not be able to see it, but you never know, it could be a last minute thing. But yeah, there's no tickets for the uh, Plymouth to Leeds journey. It doesn't even say sold out, it just doesn't appear. But it is on real-time trains, so that is good that it's there. Um, but we do have news of a charter train. That actually goes from Leeds to Swanage. Now Swanage is not mainline. It's a heritage railway. But the HST. The Class 43 is going a very unusual way. But an amazing way. Down south to Swanage. Which will be calling at Leeds and Sheffield and Derby. And you know all those. But it kind of goes down towards... Reading and Bournemouth and you know all that great weird way to get round to Swanage well you got to get round that way to get to Swanage but then it will end up on the heritage line to Swanage for a bit before making its way back up to Leeds now there aren't any tickets available yet but I, <laughs> I wonder how much those tickets actually are going to be worth because if we kind of think of a charter and think of cross country and think of HST, they're probably going to be at least two, three hundred pounds, I think. Now, what do you think? What do you think the tickets should be worth? Do you think they should be worth that? Now, they are going, the proceeds are going to a charity, so that's good. But how much do you think the tickets should be worth? And hopefully, all seven cars are going to be on there. But will it be all standard? Will they be first class? I'm not sure. Because they could swap some carriages around if they've got so many HSDs now cross country. Maybe they'll swap some cars around so there'll be more first class. Could they have a bit more of a meal? Could they have something else on board? I don't know. But I know a couple of people that will definitely be going on that charter. So if I can't go on it, I will hear from them how amazing it was. <laughs> but yeah, around that time in September is a big no-no for me. But that's uh, other stuff that's going on personally. But all good. But yeah, it's uh, it's very upsetting to think that the Cross Country HST is going. They said October. It's going to be September. But I guess you're all going to have a look at those, um, those uh, diagrams for the train. And hopefully be at the station legally and safely watching these uh, HSTs go by. There are rumours of certain special things happening on that charter. But I'm not going to say anything just in case they're wrong. But hopefully we'll see some really exciting stuff from that charter. Or at the very least, I'll try and see if I can get down to Belper to watch it go through. I think I think uh, Mrs. Megasim will uh, let me do that. <laughs> but yeah, it's a very upsetting time to think that the HST is going. We've still got the GWR HST still there. Supposedly till December next year, but uh, I don't know. And you never know, Scott Rail, that's for a few more years, but there are rumblings going on that it could be earlier. But nothing official yet, so we'll just have to wait and see. But it is unfortunate the cross-country HSTs that, that go the length of the country, such a long journey from Edinburgh right down to Plymouth and back again. It's just an amazing journey to be on. I've only done Derby to Plymouth on HST. I've never done the other way round. I've usually done that on a... LNR Azuma or a Voyager. Uh, but you know, he, even this clip here, this is of a video to come in August, so really look forward to that. We go to Dawlish, we are train spotting in Dawlish, and there's a cross country HST that's late, and there's a GWR HST going uh, up to Cardiff Central. But yeah, some amazing stuff going on that's going to be coming. GWR will be ending soon, so got to make the most of it of being on the GWR HSTs. I haven't been on a Scott Rail for a little while, but that will soon change, hopefully, if I can get up to Scotland. But I'm going to leave you with some great footage of, of course, the Class 43 cross-country, some not-seen-yet footage of an upcoming video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Train Real World the new channel as part of Mega Sim. 
subscribe for more and I will see you on the next video this is Steven Mega Sim out of here see you soon guys bye bye